Hey there, welcome back to another edition of Sunday Range Day. We appreciate you tuning in, guys. This Sunday, we have the Cimarron Thunderer. This one is the 357 Magnum. We brought some 357 with us today and some 38s. First things first, the pistol is clear. The cylinder is empty. There is no ammo present here, so we can safely handle this pistol. This is a beautiful one, too. This one has a um, case-colored frame and hammer on it. The uh, camera and the lighting just don't do it justice. But you can see the cloudiness in it there with the case coloring. It looks, yeah, really nice. Good grips on it. We can take some good pictures of it and put yeah, it in I'll at the post end. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah, those of you sticking around to the end of the videos, you're seeing some good photos of the uh, bullets we've caught and the and the guns themselves. But yeah, it's built uh, just like an old Colt was, and the same as the other one last Sunday. You had the five click, the safety, half cock, and so on and so forth. Oh, four click. I'm sorry, I think I said five. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get. Uh, We'll get loaded up here. First things first, we're going to put it on a target. That way we know where it's hitting at before we start trying to shoot some fun stuff with it. And we'll be right back. Okay, first we're going to try some of the, um, I think we're actually we're going to try some lead first. This is a semi-wad cutter. And uh, see what uh, these do on target. Try to get an idea, you know. Yeah. Eyes on, got my ears on. Miss Wayne's got a butterfly on her hand, and we're ready to see what this will do. Okay, that was five. We'll clear the pistol. And we'll go check our target. Real quick, I want to show you. You can get a line on this, this Wayne. How fine those sights are on this pistol. The V notch is cut really, really, it's deep enough, but it's small. And the front side actually on this one tapers up to a, a good point, like a shark fin. And it's a, a really fine sight on this one, so you should be getting a good group out of that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I got it. Well, I can get some pictures at the end of the video for them, if not, but I uh, figured I'd share that with y'all. That was uh, 38 Special, actually, on that one. So, I'll give you an idea, and that's a good group. <laughs> Really good group. All five of them. Yep. Right, let's try the next one. All right, these. This time we're going to step up to a uh, 357 here. This is a lead round nose or flat nose or bullet. We're going to give these a try. See what they can do. five loaded. Let's see what it'll do. Oh yeah. I'll prepare. Okay, the pistol's clear, safe. Let's go check it out. Well, I have to say, it's hot out here today. Very hot. Mid 90 days. 
Uh, pretty much the same group, a little bit wider in that area. It could cut into the orange. But yeah, not bad at all. And that was the 357 on that one. So shooting about the same. Pretty good. All right. Next up, we've got the full metal jackets, and these are in the 357 here as well. So let's see what kind of group this gives us. But I remember these. I think they're pretty full-on 357 hot. So are you ready for it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of percussion with that. Is all five. Got us clear. Let's check it out. Yeah, we're still holding in the same grouped area there to the left. So I have to remember that when I'm drawing on a pop can or a can of soup or something. Right? <laughs> All right, let's try one more. Okay, last one we've got left is the 38 special. And those are the acne bullets there, the red mm. lipstick, lipstick bullets. Lipstick bullets. <laughs> yeah, these are some of Miss Wayne's favorites. But they do shoot good, though. I have to give them that. They're a pretty accurate round. They were out of that rifle. Well, let's see what they do in the Thunderer. Okay. Is all five. We'll clear it and check the target. We're safe. So let's check it out. I think one of those hit over here on this side. I think they're drawn a little low. I'm not sure. But ain't all in all, we see that it's guiding a little to the left, so. Either that or it's me in the heat today. Me and heat don't get along real well. But let's cut some fun stuff. And Okay, we've got a 38 Special. This is an XTP hollow point in this one. And we'll see if we can uh, catch it in the jug. I hope. I wouldn't mind getting a little wet today. It's so hot out here. Here we go. Nothing in that one. So, that me. It's went through all the dust. This was the last one. You have a hole and you got a hole in the bottom. So unfortunately, no, not this time, huh? Okay, we got another one of those XTPs in here. We've got a little water left. I don't think we've got enough to pull this off, but 
we won't disappoint. We've got some cool stuff at the end coming. Let's see, one more time if we can catch this. Okay, we've looked everywhere. We can't, we couldn't find that bullet or the first one from that. And we, we just didn't bring enough waters today. We'll uh, make up for it in a later one, I guess. But we've got three soda cans lined up here. And I've got some of those Acme red uh, lipstick bullets this Wayne likes. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we can take out all three of these cans here in one shot. We'll give it a whirl. I got him. That was the first one. Not bad. And then the second one. Pretty good. Pretty good. Assuming that was a third one, I don't know. I'm getting hungry. Are you getting hungry? How about some soup for everybody? <laughs> yeah, that sounds perfect. All right, let's say we have some soup on this hot summer day. <laughs> Here we go. Uh-oh. It's okay. I got more where that came from. Oh, oh that's gross. disgusting. Oh, Okay, yeah, we, we hit it, guys. We have, uh, Miss Wayne got a little on her, but I am covered in soup. This is disgusting. Um, I got it on me, oh, too. It was all over my shirt. And yeah, you can see pants. what happened there. Yeah, isn't that great? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha ha, y'all love us, don't you? Yuck. Oh, you know they're all laughing at us right now. Oh, I almost wish I could show my face to show them. This is disgusting. Oh, okay, we'll be right back. Oh, oh that's gross. disgusting. Oh. Here, show them. Show them how bad it you oh, got. Oh, come on, Miss Wayne. Look at that. Jeez. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're going to try to shoot some of this steel here. I don't, you know, I spent a lot of time with the targeting of this uh, pistol, so we'll give it a try. These are the semi wad cutter, 158 grains in this pistol. And the flies are horrible right now because I'm covered in soup. <laughs> Isn't it great? God, I'm uh, See, sorry, this is guys. Why I like sorry, cookies. guys. You don't have to pull with all the, the mess. Now, let's, uh, let's give this a try. Let's see what it'll do on the steel. It hit that one. It's hitting them. Got one down. Let's come back to this one. Almost. Ah, there it was. Well, we can hit steel. Just not enough uh, oomph 
with the 38 to knock them down. I got to say, I love the feel of this pistol. This is a nice, nice pistol. I wasn't sure about the, um, the bird's head grip on this. The gun is clear now, so we can handle it. Let's talk about it. No ammo. So, yeah. Really ultra bright, shiny blue. And, you know, the grip, the grip feels right to me. It's not bad at all. Even in the 357, I was worried it would want to, you know, rock back some. But that, uh, no, it, comes, it still comes down to the point, so you get a good purchase on it. And it just feels right in the hand. So, yeah. Well, that's it. That's the uh, Cimarron Thunderer. And this is the 357 Magnum. And I was tickled to get this one. I actually got this one recently. And uh, I've had the 357 rifle for years, the 92 Rossi, the Winchester replica. It's really nice to be able to get one of these to be able to to have the same gun that fires the same ammo as far as the rifle and the pistol goes. That's, that's always a good feeling when you when you can match them up like that. So. I'm getting a good idea for another Sunday range day. Uh-oh. Doesn't involve cookies, does it? Well, I mean, hmm. it could involve that too. Okay, so, yeah, hold me back to the table and sum it up. Okay, there you have it, guys. We uh, went through the Cimarron Thunderer today in the 357, and I do like that idea, Miss Wayne. That'll be pretty cool. We could come up with one and incorporate both the large loop and 357 and the 357 Thunderer. I think that would be really, really a fun range day. What do you all think? Leave it in the comments. Oh, yeah, give you one last look, and we'll close this one out. And I always think it's interesting how Cimarron and uh, uh, Uberti, these are mostly all Uberti manufactured, but how they put their date stamps just like the old Colts on them. I always like that touch. It uh, gives a little extra nostalgia to it. Yeah, I'll have some photos for you at the end of the pistol. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any bullets this time. We were short on water, but we do appreciate you watching. And uh, check out those photos at the end and uh, tune in next Sunday. We'll have another one. And thanks, guys. We appreciate all your support, channel members, and the subscribers. Y'all mean the world to us. Take care, guys.